Hello, Internet. I'm Amsterdam Bomb, and you guys are joining me for uh, yet another comic session. I'm actually just going to be uh, uh, inking and doing a few pencils this time, too, for uh, my graphic novel. I know right now we're just looking at somebody's waist, but that's just where I was. I just realized, I was like, okay, um, I'm spending another day, you know, doing this by myself at home kind of figure I should be doing this online with you guys at the same time. So at least I can, you know, chat with y'all uh, while I'm doing my thing. So, uh, hey, welcome, uh, jo German Mapping slash Strike Up. Um, uh, Wither Choo Choo. Hello, hello. If you guys haven't joined me for one of these before, um, basically, I'm just working on my graphic novel in Photoshop. And um, I figured, like, if I'm going to be sitting here while my computer, I might as well just be talking to you guys. So... Um, that's your opportunity. You can, like, get me on a rant, ask me anything you want. I'm just gonna be here drawing, doing my thing. Um, so, just for the record, I guess I can, like, go into, like, what I'm doing in a bit. Because I got on the page that's actually kind of similar to this one that I've already finished. Um, obviously the lines in the background are gonna go through when... Kim's doing colors on this, by the way. And I'm obviously turning letters off, so I'm not spoiling anything for you guys. Um, though you can see page number... That one up there was 14 that I just showed you. This one's 47. Uh, this is supposed to look similar to that one that I had just shown you. Familiar to people who had read it. But unfortunately, um, this is not going to be in that first um, chapter that you guys are going to get eventually. So uh, It'll be in the second. So, there's that. There's the thing. Uh, stream Warrior Land 4. German, man, you still asked me on Wario Land. Was that you who was asking me in the MMZR? That's like in the episodes I was editing for MMZR, like four questions on Wario Land 4 streaming. Um, I don't really stream games I haven't played before unless, like, I fully intended to do it blind. I gotta get this line right and do it once. I'm gonna draw, like, a bunch of... Oh, actually, that wasn't bad. I'm just gonna clean up here in the shorts on accident. And Kim will know. When she goes to color it, Kim knows all when I stream it up. So it's on GBA and Wii U virtual console. I don't have a Wii U. Um or the GBA games have gone up in price. Like I'm just trying to find um No granted I could probably just send me a little bit. But uh I never played I played a little of one of the Wario Land games. It wasn't bad. I'm not saying that I would dislike the game. It's just I have so many other things on my radar right now that people want me to play. Um, I'm not sure about Wario Land. Sorry, it's better blind, though. Really? It's one of those. Uh, it's hard to tell, because I would expect Wario Land to just be like, you know, um, what it originally was, what I am familiar with uh, Wario Land being, which was basically um, the... Super Mario World Takeover, which is what Wario Land was. Oh, for the record, that reminds me. Um, the music we're listening to this time, I kind of wanted a mashup, so we're actually listening to the soundtrack for um, Super Smash Brothers, Wii U, and 3DS. So, this is going to go through a bunch of different uh, franchises. Which one did I play? I only played it for like five minutes. A friend of mine had it, and I played for a little bit. Um, and by the way, is the music too loud? I, I have no idea what the volume is like. I want to make sure you can hear it, but I want to make sure you can hear me too, because I'm not, obviously, shouting and playing a game! So, I'm just talking here. So, um, anyway, um, I honestly, I don't remember, I could have sworn it was like a, uh, no, I played a little bit of a Game Boy Color one. Which must, oh, yeah, yeah, no, that was the Super Mario Land that turned into Wario Land, and then it was like Mario World, that franchise, I thought, that became Yoshi's thing. That's what I was getting mixed up there in my head. Which I love, uh, Yoshi's Island. Turn it down a bit. How about there? Is that better? I mean, every other song we're gonna listen to is gonna be, like, louder and quieter. I'm gonna turn it about here. Hopefully that's better. Because obviously, like, I'm turning your, the volume you guys hear down. The volume I hear is coming through my speakers. and It's the same all the time. Um... Ah, there we go, Wither Chew. I want stuff like this. I enjoy totally random questions. But to answer the Wario thing, before I get into that, um, I just remember it played really weird. It was like, um, I think it was 
made so that Wario was slower than Mario intentionally because the hardware couldn't, like, keep up with what they wanted Wario to do. So, uh, I'm trying to get this calf right. I don't want it to look too big. I, this isn't, like, a bodybuilder. Enjoyable. So, um... I, yeah, okay. Oh, Victini McKip, hey, welcome. And, uh, Maple, I think, is Maple new, too? What is my favorite Pokemon game? You know, that's a... Good question, because, um, typically I'm the kind of guy who's like, I'll heavily criticize games that I really enjoy, and, uh, if you haven't noticed lately, I've been criticizing the heck out of Pokemon. Um, so I gotta say... Currently, my one single favorite cartridge that you can play, um would be uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. It's probably my favorite ones. Game Boy Color, it's either Wireland 2 or 3. I don't know if it had color though. I thought it was black and white. I think it was just Wario Land. Um, that's good, okay, cool. Are you hyped as I am for Bag on Community Day, Latios Raid Week? Um, I never get to do any of the raids. I don't have any friends who live here who play the game other than one and two people is not enough to take a raid boss down so we never really go. His dad plays the game though, uh, and we've tried it with three, but we're not, I mean, like, I'm level 35 and I think I'm the highest of the three of us, and that's, it's not really doable. Um, uh, excited for community? I am, yes. I, I, I gotta say, the community day for the Bagon. Kim, however, is very pissed. Uh, she just finished walking her Bagon, like, what, 250 some, I don't know how, some odd kilometers, and finally got Salamence, and now it's the community day. I told her not to do it. I said, I got a feeling Bagon's gonna be a community day, because we had Dratini, and then we had um, Larvitar. Like, Bagon's gonna be that new one. I mean, they gave us them so I, I kind of thought lost a little bit of hope for Bagon, but of course there he shows up. Um, if it was black and white, then it's Wario Land One. I think so. Yeah. Um, I, it was an interesting, weird game. Um, from what I remember, like the goal was different. It wasn't like a time-based get to the end thing because Wario was so slow. It was more like get as much treasure as possible. I think. Um, it's been forever. And I mean, honestly, the friend who was playing it. This is one of those weird things. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. Um, the friend of mine who was playing, I wouldn't even call a friend. He's honestly, he was a real jerk. And um, when I started trying it myself, I could only associate the game to that person. So this happens with like animes and stuff. You know, like you have a someone who you like really despise and like they really love this anime or video game or something. And because of that, you can't get into it because of them. Um, actually, that's not too inaccurate right there. So I'm trying to get the knee right. But anyway, yeah, that's what happened with me with Wario Link. So I was like, this guy drives me crazy. Um, I, I don't want to come off like that. But at the same time, it, it's a, it, it's a, it's a thing that just happens. Um, you know, there's someone you really can't stand who, um, really loves, I don't know, um, <laughs> Fortnite, and you don't want to play Fortnite, which is probably like a perfectly fine game. You know, I, I know it in and out, and I haven't even touched it, but I don't want to play it because of the community kind of thing. You know, it's sort of like that. Um, Rip, I also reached level 35 today. I'm hyped for Bag on Community Day. I walked my bag on enough to get 100 plus candy in case of a community day. Well, I mean, it's not like it's a down, it's it's a gift from the community anyway, so it's, it's fine. It's cool. Uh, Sam, I don't do many raids, but I have a shiny Ho-Oh for the reason you said. Um, oh man, shiny Ho-Oh would be so cool if I was able to have one in that game. Though, I would have been really upset if uh, I work so hard for a shiny Ho-Oh in my Heart Gold game, and then boom, I'm just handed one. I'd be a little pissed off. Just saying. Even though, at the same time, it's really lucky. You, you gotta take these things that... That actually wasn't bad. I can work with that. Trying to get a, um, these muscles right is always tough. Shape of a leg. Legs are just weird. That's better. Okay, I can work with that one. Um, you got shiny ho -Oh first try. I've, I think I have two ho in Pokemon Go. 
Um, one was a raid fight. I It was during a community day and Ho-Oh showed up. I was like, yay, I'll actually get it. It was my first legendary, ironically, in Pokemon Go. My first legendary was Ho-Oh. Um, and, uh, oh, hey, Silver, welcome. Um, so it was really weird uh, that it was actually Ho-Oh after all that. Now, let me zoom back, make sure the whole leg is... It's fine. It gets a little thin at the bottom, but... I'm kind of exaggerating this anyway. I'm gonna do like this. Danky Kang musics. Um, get as much treasure could mean any of the games. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I Like I said, I only know that one. I, I guarantee you it was on a Game Boy. I never owned a Game Boy either, so there's another reason I, I never really played it. Um, there's five of them in total, but we can't rule out the fifth one already. Are you still talking about Wario Land, man? <laughs> I'm like, no, it was so long ago. I I just turned 27. I'm sure it was the first one. Um, gosh, now I'm actually mostly nervous about drawing these shoes because um, I had it sketched from something before. Did I draw these shoes on another page? Because like, Kim knows what these things are called. She specifically dressed the characters. And even what I'm gonna be doing in a bit, told me specifically which flowers I need to draw here. Um, and I don't remember before the community day. There's a, there was no ho community day, man. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, or you mean uh, a shiny Articuno from the box. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of cool stuff that you can like open up in your research box. I haven't gotten any shinies in. I've only gotten, get this, Entei. Entei Suicune and I already had um, Multiples of all of them for when we could get them when they had an exclusive month, so it's like Ugh. I need Lugia for Pokemon Go Lugia is one of Three Pokemon I still need in Pokemon Go one is Celebi I just can't beat that freaking event uh, the research thing because it asked me to spin a Pokestop seven days in a week and that just is never gonna happen I, I just accept that. I'm never gonna have Celebi. I'm like, thanks game. That's cool. Um, so I'll just never see Celebi. I don't know what these shoes are called. This isn't actually drawn perfectly right. Obviously that was a sketch just to give me the shape. They're actually a little taller than this. Um, are they are they high tops? I'm guessing I'm throwing names out here. I'm gonna try and Google this. I don't know women's shoes. I, I think I guessed right. I think it looks like this. Sort of. I don't, man, I don't even know what the heck I'm Googling. I'm Googling flowers and women's shoes, because Kim had to outfit these characters. I don't know what I'm doing. Do you open research breakthroughs? Yeah, but I, I didn't get any shinies. Oh my gosh, you have so many. Two shiny Ho, one shiny Lugia, one shiny Moltres, one shiny Yarnakuno, and the Reggies from boxes. Also some dogs. Good lord! I've only- I've told you what I got out of the research boxes. Entei, Entei, Suicune. Actually, I think I got three Enteis. My bad, I got, a, I got another one recently. It was another Entei. All normal, by the way. I'm at school and I couldn't resist. Fire Flame! Done with my work, so it's cool. Okay, I'm not gonna get on you. You know I'm a teacher, man. Sorry that I'm still talking about it. It's just, um, I think it's very creative. Um, oh yeah, there's- Everyone's got that one game that they absolutely obsess over. My, ironically, mine is playing in the background. I'm playing um, Super Smash Brothers um, World of Light for the third time now. If you can believe it, I have every single spirit in the game, including the ones that uh, were enhanceable, um, that are gonna turn into something else. I got the original again, including all of them that you had to get just by summoning. And then I have everything leveled up to 99. Like, if I go to the spirit board, it says I have, and this is Max, I know, 1,303 spirits. All of them. Gerudo Valley. Um, school starts back up next week for me. Oh. Well, good luck in school. Let me open them up for you. Yeah, really? Sending from research box. Like, I don't even know how far I am on a research thing right now, because I never get to see Pokestop. Uh, I never get to spin Pokestops. Which is why I can't get Celebi. Uh, for my last year in high school, they took our class to Universal? What? 
I never got like any field trips like at all. And the one, the one I remember uh, that I was super excited that I wanted to go to, I got sick that day. They were going to the um, observatory. Now I hear the observatory here isn't the best, but still. Um, like I was so angry. And that might have actually changed where I went for my, uh, yeah, check, check that out. You see my, that's my research box. It's nowhere. And I gotta hatch an egg, win a level three or higher raid. Wow. Um, but actually, hold on. I think I got one of those, uh, yeah, I do. I got one of those 10k eggs that's just like sitting there, totally filled. It'll never just pop open. But other than that, um, yeah. I, I'm not, I don't actively like go out and play this game. I just kind of turn it on like I just did. And I'm like, how is it going? I like trying to keep the catch streak up because that's easy enough, but still. I think I missed, uh, the original's worth one. Don't make going wrong. It's good. It's not as great as the others. I can imagine they would, I've seen footage of the other ones and they look a lot better. You must record a video and post it on YouTube if you get something good from the boxes. You guys would want to see that? I, I kind of stopped making Pokemon Go videos like forever ago. Um, yeah, Smash is great. I spent so much time in Smash Bros. I'm a freak in Smash Brothers. Um, Kim is looking at me like I'm a nut. So basically, the second round through I played through World of Light was specifically, um, it was a new game plus because they kind of make you start it anyway. This third one, though, is a fresh file on hard. So I don't get any of the buffs that I had from new game plus and I have to start it on hard. Hard World of Light is so freaking frustrating it's horrendous i'm not drawing oh gosh what do these laces look like are these high top things i had no luck with shiny meltan that's one thing i can show you guys right now you know there's no video for it i'm gonna show you check it this this is squeaker i'm gonna try and get closer for you i know the focus isn't gonna be great but this is squeaker he is uh, a shiny Melmetal. Uh, he appraises as uh, strong, which if you're not Team Valor, that's the second from the top. I don't know his exact numbers, but I was happy about it. He's a, my only shiny one I found. I've only opened two boxes for Meltans, by the way. Only two. Um, so this was one of them. And obviously I spent all like almost all of my candy for one uh, leveling him up. I doubled every Meltan I ever found. And then... Um, I like filled the sucker up with all the candy I had and he's he's really strong now. So um yeah, Squeaker is my top strongest Pokemans if anyone really cares. You're not seeing the numbers on it, so if I move to the right you will. You can kinda see that. They're in like thirty something strongest uh thirty-five eighty-five. Um but anyway I did. Uh your instincts uh, you already got a shiny meltdown. I did. I only had one. Show us my shinies. Also, Team Mixtic. Uh, let me see. I don't know if there's a way to sort by shinies. Besides, I brought a bunch over to, um, what's it called? I got a bunch of Community Day ones that nobody really cares about. Other than, oh my god. So, other than Community Day stuff, I turned my game on, like, two, three days ago. Uh, just to catch my Pokemon of the day, like I said. Uh, it was a Trico. It was shiny. I missed the Trico Community Day event, and I just turned my game on, and Shiny Trico's here. I'm like, oh, sweet! <laughs> I just have a Shiny Trico! <laughs> like, heck yeah! I don't have enough candy to turn into a Skeptile, but, um, he's a Grovoil right now, which, honestly, Grovoil's my bro, so, might stick him there. I don't know. Doesn't matter to me. I gotta take another glance at these. Uh, you can write Shiny in the search. Oh! Really? Cool. You have a Shiny Roserade. That's a nice one. I gotta take a look at what these shoes look like again, cause I, okay, so the base doesn't, base doesn't come out that much. Everything Metroid related, of course I'm gonna be beep bopping around, I love Metroid. Uh, I missed Trico Community Day because I had nowhere to go that day. Oh, that's a shame. I think it was like pouring down rain or something, I don't remember what day it was, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm hopefully gonna be fine for this um, upcoming one. Uh, that was only so-so there. Let's get rid of that half of it. I'm obviously chopping these big clown shoes up that I sketched. That was just the direction of where the foot needs to go. Um, they are small. Uh, I wanted some Megas in Pokemon Go. 
I don't know what that would really entail. Might be a little much. Man, we need a new Metroid game, like, now. Samus Returns is, like, cool and all, but... I'm still waiting. I want my- I want my Prime. It's not the same. Why can't I get this line right? Drawing a shoe at a weird angle. You know what it is, is, is the sketch is goofed. Uh, the sketch really should show these things come at the laces coming down. That's what's throwing me off here. And this would now come out. It's also the outside of the shoe, so it's probably going to do that a bit. I'm doing this on multiple layers in case anybody really cares on how I'm drawing these. Oh, Yoshi. Um, you caught a 100% shiny Squirtle with sunglasses. That's insane. Um, I actually knew Wario Land 4 first before I heard there were other games. Oh, I, I had known about them since I was a wee child. Um, well, yeah, Ballista, that's awesome. That's shiny Squirtle. Hey, Skunky and Leafy on Productions. Welcome, man. We're literally just chatting today because I was going to be, uh, drawing anyway. What the heck are the sides of these outsides of the shoe? I hate drawing shoes. <laughs> that's why I keep glancing at this. Hate drawing shoes. Um, this probably would come in a little bit more here. I'm gonna cut into it. Just like shave off some of it. Um, this is like full page art, so that's why I'm really taking my time on something that really doesn't matter like this, because you're not really gonna see it ever later. I understand what 100% meant. Ballista, I got you. Uh, which team are you on? Sobble team. Those are, you need to be teams, huh? Right, so, jumping in on something before you even know what the final evolutions are. If, um, if you insist, uh, which first stage I like, just at a glance, um, I gotta say I like the look of the water thing, though, um, Sobble is a horrible name. Uh, Grookey, I don't know, he's kinda cute, but at the same time, like, I, I really don't care. Um, I, I've got so many issues with what, uh, this is some hardcore Kirby music. I got so many issues with what Game Freak's been doing lately that I, like, don't really care. Which is a shame, because I want to care. I love Pokemon. I can just turn my camera around. I've got Pokemon stuff all over this room, but they're making it so that I don't care. Which is really, like, that's their job. They have to make me care. Make me want to buy the next game. I, I heavily criticize games that I enjoy a lot, so obviously I want to make sure Pokemon succeeds and does well. And I feel like Game Freak is just taking advantage of the fact that Pokemon is going to sell just on the merit of it being Pokemon at all, and that's all that they seem to care about. Uh, what are you drawing right now? This is literally a shoe! <laughs> um, just, you know, they can finally, I don't talk about Wario Land anymore. It's because I have nothing to contribute to the Wario Land conversation, other than what I told you. A friend of mine played it when I was younger, he let me play it. That friend was a dick. I don't really care for Wario Land because of that. It happens. You know what I'm saying? I never really got back into it. No, your phone's at 1%, gotta go and charge it. Gonna shiny hunt Mewtwo again in the meantime. The teeny monkey, good luck on that one, that is a, that is a crazy hunt. Uh, let me check out how the laces work. Oh, yeah, these are weird. So the laces on this... There's, like, no... You don't tie these things? I'm, like, being a, a newly amazed by female shoes. Oh, I'm so... Smash Bros. News. Which character I mean? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna control zero this. So this is Ashlyn. She's the female character who you guys had seen before. I can turn my sketches off to see, like, where I am so far. That one-legged monstrosity she is. Um, I have another one that's similar to this that I've already finished. Um, this is, the, the, there's panels that this is going to overlay when it's finished. Obviously there's text too, but I'm not going to show that. Um, actually the sketches show where the bubbles go. But, um, I'm trying to do something similar to this, uh, to show f the publishers. Just as, like, they want to see, like, full character art, and this is full character art, but it's also a page that I'm going to need. So I'm trying to, uh, do this first. So anyway, that's what's going down here. Um, if you have bad Wi-Fi, don't play Fortnite. Um, 
I have a better way to shorthand that sentence. It's, uh, just keep the last three words. Uh, are you going to the Fest of Chicago? Man, I don't have money to go anywhere ever, actually, ever. I'd like to do conventions and stuff, but I, I can't do that. Now, hold on. Just grab the portable charger. I'm staying in the stream. Victini Mudkip, staying in here. You can stay really close to the wall outlet. Um, okay, so I need to do the base of this shoe first. Has anybody, like, had to draw, um... Man, it's hard enough trying to draw... Okay, okay, so... There's, like, this weird line at the top. These shoes are so weird looking. They don't look like shoes of any other shoes I've ever seen. Um, ah, uh, Star Wolf. I love Star Wolf's music. Alright, uh, I think I'm doing this right. I don't want to do these hatchy, scratchy lines, that's why I'm trying to stay close. Okay, um, now there's like this dome thing that comes over the top. Sort of like that? I, I really don't know. Um, you're good at drawing? Oh, thank you. I hope the publisher thinks that, because, uh, inevitably I'm gonna be self-conscious of my own stuff, and, um, I just hope that, you know, this is finally, um, the book that I can get published by not me, myself, and I. I've published several comics, um, already, but they're all self-published, which means I had to spend all the time myself working on all the art and everything. Then I had to go to a printer, pay to get them printed. Maybe you can look at the image on Google. Oh yeah, Blissa, that's what I keep doing. Except uh, you guys are the internet tab of me watching the chat, so I have to like leave the chat and like check Google. Um, speaking of which, there actually were some other lines I could put on this thing. Yeah, like they all have this weird line coming from the back, like this. I'm gonna try and get it. This is still Star Wolf. This must be a remix. This sounds really weird. Yeah, that's Star Wolf. It's weird. Anywho, um... Oh, what's my favorite Pokemon? Did I not get to answer that for you? Uh, oh, your your answer is, uh... Question mark unknown, Hippopodos? Hippopodos! And Pachirisu. Um... My favorite Pokemon is Shuckle. And I know you guys know that, because I've got, uh, you guys send me shiny Shuckle stuff, which I, I adore. I have them, uh, over in a little collection, like, directly behind my camera, so I can't really turn you around to show it. Um, there's, like, other lines for these things. Oh, there's, like, seven, um, circles for these things, so that, uh, the laces kind of go down. Let me see if I can get that right. If I can get seven, that'd be perfect. Three, four, five, six, no! Oh, it's so close. Ooh, seven, hey, that's not bad. That middle circle looks a little crappy, though. Little details like this will look better when we zoom back out. Right now, it don't look good. Um, I think I didn't want to play some game I don't remember because of a classmate. Until I tried it. Yeah, that, I mean, that stuff totally happens. It'll damage, um, how you feel about certain games. Um, I'm gonna tell you this now so you can have a rival to try and beat in Pokemon Go. I'm level 35 and I finished the Gen 1 and Gen 2 Pokedex. Finishing Gen 3 soon. Yikes. Um, I don't see how I'm ever... How many... I don't see how I'm ever going to finish the Pokedexes because I can't get Mr. Mime. During that stupid event where you were allowed to, like hatch, um, Pokemon from the other regions, from the Alolan eggs. Oh my gosh, I got, did I tell you guys this? I think I did on one stream. I hatched, um, five Tauros, which is my region. Five Tauros. I was so angry. And one Farfetch'd, which I already had because there was a Farfetch'd one. I have a lot of Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime's um, one of the two Pokemon I need in Kanto. I have everything except Mr. Mime and Kangaskhan. Um, because I'm obviously just not from those regions. So, yep, there's that. I was like, excellent. Kim better be happy with this shoe. 
She specifically asked for this weird women's shoe that I was like, what the heck? That looks so strange. Alright, I gotta put laces in this bad boy and then I'm done. Um, rip, I'm tired of Taros too. Oh, I was hatching them! But anyway, there was another question up there. I, I totally missed. I'm sorry about that, uh, Wither Chew. It's about, uh, how many hours do I have in Smash Ultimate? Too many? I'm embarrassed to look it up because it's a lot. I just, I love Super Smash Brothers, so I'm gonna play it to death. Um, now is one particular side of the laces over the other? No, it's just a mess. How the heck am I supposed to do this? How the heck am I supposed to draw these? Well, the bottom one just goes straight across, and then they just start zigzagging. You have a thousand hours in Fortnite. That's a lot. That is a lot. I would totally trade you Taurus for Mr. Mime. As soon as they make it, and they probably won't make it so that we can trade internationally, I, ha I have saved far four Taurus just to make sure I they're here all the time. We're sick of Taurus. Absolutely sick of Taurus. Um, I think I'm gonna do it like this. Add one side and then the other. The other is gonna suck. Okay, now you go across. Such weird looking shoes. What's wrong with women? Tell me, women in the stream, why? Why you wear these? Um, well, granted, there's nothing to try. Maybe only try it if you still don't like it. You can just play it. I'm not keeping you in the basement and screaming. Play it now. You kind of are, man. <laughs> um, but still, like, I don't have any money to buy the darn game. And besides, there's so many other games that I want to play in the in the interim. Shoot, actually, that line shouldn't even be there. Um. Oh gosh, this is tough. So who's this one? This music. Sounds like Fire Emblem? I'm not sure. For playing all the Smash that I do, I should know that, but I only started listening at the end of it. Ooh, I know this. This is F-Zero. I played that game. The original. Ugh. You want a headache? Play the original F-Zero. Good God, it'll give you a headache so fast. Oh, granted, I get motion sick really easy. So there's a lot of games that I just cannot play. But still, F-Zero, the original game, hurts your brain to look at. It is so hard to look at. It's ugh. The Mute City stage in Smash Brothers, it's just like that, except if you're trying to see while things are whizzing by your face and it's all pixely, pixely gritty, it's... Ugh. That's what F-Zero is. It's just a mess. Alright, there's a shoe. I did a shoe, guys. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. You don't have a leg. <laughs> oh, shoot. And she's wearing, um... Uh, leggings that end, like, here. So I gotta make sure that I end it. Show Kim where to stop drawing it. Okay. Because Kim does the colors in this. Uh, Hamster, I think we're the only ones in the stream who live in North, North America. Oh, yeah, well, I'm sick of Taros. Sick of them. The holy shoe is done, Papa. It's because I don't know what shoes look like. Now, hold on. Here's the big test. If I zoom back out, it, it looks really wrong. I gotta say it looks small, but to be fair, we're looking down. So, uh, it does look a little small. Kim might make me enlarge that, but that's, that's a quick edit, so I'm gonna be all right. Um, not crazy crafters from North America. You caught 458 different Pokemon Kanto 151. Oh, uh, you got a complete Kanto, Johto 100. Johto's finished too. Hey, hold on, because you guys are curious. I'll pull this up. My Kanto, like I said, I'm 149 because I'm missing Kangaskhan Mr. Mime. I don't ever go anywhere. I can't really leave the country. The Johto one pisses me off here. So I'm missing Unknown, because I can't do any of the events. Um, and Unknown is stupid rare anyway. And then I'm missing Celebi, because I told you I can't do seven Pokestop spin streak, so I'm stuck. Uh, and then Lugia. I never had a chance for Lugia, and he won't show up for me. I keep getting Entei, 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 Entei. So, 
has to deal with that. Uh, Hoenn is at 109. Um, I'm working on uh, Ludicolo's line. I saw Ninjask is in gyms now as like a raid, so I could try and get him. I don't know about Ninkata. I'm missing um, Volbeat. I think that's um, international. I'm missing a few others, like I know Torkoal's an international exclusive. Kim's got a Lunatone to trade me. I don't know why he's not here. Um, I'm missing Absol the raid. Uh, Tropius is out there too. Uh, I'm missing Clamperl's whole line. I miss that. Um, and actually Shelgon Salamence. And then I have no legendaries from Hoenn at all. So that's that. Sinnoh's only got 43. I, I've not really been playing a lot lately, so that's that. Yeah, um, but uh, as for the bottom, unknown, I have Meltan and Melmetal. Both shiny shiny. So shiny shiny. Here they are. So shiny shiny. It shows me what a normal Melmetal looks like. This is actually the only time I've seen normal Melmetal in the decks is because um, my one is shiny. Um, thank you, uh, Wither Chew has done why we can't, it literally makes no sense. Nikata is from the mission Evolve 3 Bug Types. Oh. I've never seen that one. <laughs> oh, was that during the bug event that I missed, or is that still going on? I didn't see one of those. Can you trade from a large distance Pokemon Go? No, you can't. Because I could give you Mr. Mime. I wish you could, but I'm pretty sure it will not let you. Hey, if somebody can prove that wrong, then... We'll be friends on Pokemon Go all kinds of now and do this. Um, uh, that line. That line. Wow, that worked. First try. I'm going to hang on to those. This up here, though, needs to be connected. Kim gets mad when I don't connect my lines. Makes putting flats down, like, really annoying, which I can imagine. Um, it's from the event. Hamster, it won't. Hamster, it won't. Oh, trade, yeah. You guys need context in your sentences, because I'm always getting them very, very late. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. I tried many times with my cousin who lives in the U.S. Uh, may I ask what the comic is going to be about? Ooh, crazy. Um, if you have any intention of ever reading it, it's best that I not tell you anything. Because I would either be lying... Or spoiling it um, I'm still trying to find the best way to not ruin it for people and still tell them something that they're not gonna be mad about later because even the people I've had edit this for me have been like a little um, perturbed by even the genre I told them that it's going to be because this is a plot twisty book I'll just Leave it at that. Even that might be too much. You shouldn't even know that. I mean, well, I mean, granted, you go in expecting things are gonna twist and get weird, uh, and things twist and get weird, you're less surprised by it, you know? So, I don't exactly want that to happen, but still. Um, can you play Mario Star Road? It's a ROM hack of Mario 64. It's also free, I think. Better be free if it's a ROM hack. Um,. I love, the, I love comics, so I'll definitely support you and pick it up. Thank you, crazy! I'm poor! I'm, what I'm probably going to do is when I finish the first chapter, I might uh, put it up digitally so that you guys can read it. Also, I've got a ton of physical comics that I have made already. This is obviously, like, my new project, and I haven't had time to, like, sit down and really work on comics in a long time. Um, but I still have them. That's not right. That looks better, that one. And then just connect to the freaking knee. Okay. Um, now we just have to compare the sizes of the calves. Make sure that I didn't make one way thinner than the other, which it looks like I did. Um, not by much. That one's ankle just needs to be a little thinner. Um, which I can do up here in the front. Oh, I should do in the front. Um... Bug event closed at 1 p.m. Oh, so 10 minutes ago. Oh, Pacific time. No, Pacific... PDT. Oh, isn't that Japan? I don't know, but PDT is. I'm assuming Japan, because it's uh, um, a Japanese game. 
But it's also made by Niantic, so I'm not really sure where Niantic is based. Isn't that based out of Seattle? No, Pokemon is based out of Seattle, but... I uh. I care very little, <laughs> clearly. But yeah, that stinks. So is Nincada just, like, inaccessible? Like, Clam Pearl? I'm like, oh, thanks, guys. That's cool. Because, like, they picked the weirdest Pokemon to be common and rare. It seems really backwards to me. This should actually be a little higher, because the knee is higher on the other one. I was listening to your comments. What? If my local comic shop has them, or if I can get them online, I'll definitely go for it. Uh, you can get them online. Your comic shop will not have them, for sure. Uh, there was only one shop that ever sold them, and it was a local place to me. Because I gotta go there, because if I print it myself, I'm the only one with the stock. I gotta go other places, and then if I go somewhere else, they want to take it. Oh, who am I drawing? Nintendo character? No, 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 no. Okay, so this is my own graphic novel. So I'm making, uh, I, I wrote the whole story. Uh, I'm now drawing and illustrating the whole story. Uh, and Kim is gonna be coloring the whole thing, and it's, um, going to be released eventually. Uh, I mean, we're not really sure. I'm still working on, uh, speaking with, um, publishers about this. I'm gonna try and draw this one so I can kind of see that other shoe at the same time, so I don't have to keep going back and forth. Oh my gosh, Ashley's theme. Speaking of Wario. I'm mostly known for WarioWare, which is kind of a shame. Oh my gosh, it's the Japanese one too. Um, because WarioWare has become a bigger thing than Wario Land, which, to be fair, I mean, that's fine. He's mostly... Um, uh, Mario kind of took over the platforming thing anyway. I say took over, but it had always been Mario. And then there was just knockoffs of Mario. Many, many knockoffs. Uh, Hamster, you should make a Pokemon Go videos. I'd watch them. Also, you should make live streams where you talk to the chat. I should make live streams where I talk to the chat. I'm trying to figure out what I'm not doing right now. <laughs> um, apparently, armored Pokemon will be in Pokemon Go. I don't know what that even means. Can't really tell. Oh, right, because I'm drawing shoes. Yeah, that's why. Um, because a Mewtwo was in the files. Oh, armored Mewtwo? Yeah, we don't really know yet. I don't know a lot of indie comic publishers, to be honest. I think Image... It's Image, not Ima Imagine. This one, but I don't know exactly. Image is a huge one. Um, I'm probably not gonna be able to get into Image. The big one that I'm gonna try is um, First, Second. There's a bunch of other ones that I think will fit this genre. I'm gonna try talking with them. <laughs> Wario, have a rotten day. Uh, did somebody say Wario Land? <laughs> Just kidding. We all have our favorite game. I'm l we're listening to mine, to be fair, so. It's what it's like. Um, I might have to, let's see. It's like, I got that, there's this ridge in here I want to get. See, that ain't right. It goes the other way around. It's up, down. It looks like a freaking hot dog. But if I fix the bottom and make this taller. But they're also not so tall in the front. I don't know, I'm not used to these shoes, so I can't really draw them that well. They're also not that square. There, I think that's about right. Looks almost like a slipper because I didn't put the rest of it on there yet. Okay, I'm checking the comments. I obviously can't do too much at once. What is your setup? Because I can't understand how anyone can uh, draw so good on a computer. Doll! So, um,. What I have right now is a drawing tablet. I'm drawing with a wake, wake em, whack em. It's actually supposed to be pronounced whack em. Nuts. Uh, I'm gonna control zero. So I'm in Photoshop. I was actually drawing really small, but this is a, like a full page. So I'm trying to make sure that the details look right. And we're gonna like go through and draw a bunch of detail. There's like plants in that chapter. Um, this one's all, the one that you guys had seen before was an aquarium. So this one like uses a bunch of fish, um, just a thematic thing. So, um, so it's like a drawing pen like this, and I've got a bunch of buttons and stuff preset on this, like I can zoom in, 
uh, switch immediately to a hand which like helps me move and grab. I'm still using the same tool, it's a pen. Uh, and I can just draw around. The screen shows only your face and you talk to the chat. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what you want? This is what you want? Hi, internet. I'm Hamster. I'm just talking to you, and there's no chat here. You didn't even see out my door now. Here's my hallway. It goes into another room. I call that room the yellow room because we haven't painted it yet, and it's yellow, and I don't like yellow. And that was um, my stream. I kind of want to go back to where I was before here. So, yeah. Pacific Daylight Time. Yeah, so it is Japan, am I right? What's your setup? Oh yeah, so I answered that one. Hamster's confused, hamster used sketch. The drawing is almost finished. <laughs> um, is this a music list of, I believe a sunner. No, this is um the uh, soundtrack for uh, Smash 4. Why? Oh, nice. Hamtaro, exotic keeper. Welcome, welcome. Hey, hey, hey. Exotic keeper, just saying. Got this sucker all set up and raring to go. I just didn't have the time to do a full-on MMZR stream today. Um, also, I got my little buddy. He's literally sitting right here. Um, but uh, I wasn't able to do MMZR today. I don't have that much time. I wanted to do some comic stuff. Plus, I get to talk with you guys more when I do this. Okay. So, um, oh good, you do see my cursor when I'm doing this. Uh, paint the room green and use it like a green screen. I have that paint color. But the thing is, uh, that one, I don't have that many extra rooms. That's probably going to be a kid's room. So, I'm not going to be that much of a douche and, like, complete, like, say, oh, your, your room, imagine your parents doing it. Your room is neon green because your dad wants to use it as a green screen. I'd be so angry at my parents. So, I'm not going to be that guy. Um, this is one of the many reasons I'm so to you. You're awesome and funny. I don't see either of those things happening in me, Victini, but I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, oop, my heart. You deserve larger streams. To be fair, I'm not really playing the game right now. I'm not really expecting a lot of people to jump in. I actually like doing these streams with fewer people because then I get to just chat with you guys. What is a high top? Then I just get to chat with you guys more casually. No. That looks a little high, but I think they're higher on the inside. Shoes typically are higher on the inside, that part, because uh, your foot... So should I hold my foot up to the camera? You guys see this? So here, check this out. Here's my foot. Okay? See this thingy? That's a thing there. Ow! Oh! I hit my foot. Oh! I'm okay. I'm okay. For the record, I am wearing pants too, if that was where you were going with this. See? Check them out. Check them out. Looking good. Good in uh, shorts, because that's what they are called in this neck of the woods. They are called the shorts. And no, I will not slowly start uh, seductively taking it off. That was just my foot that I slammed on my desk painfully. It still hurts, actually. Um, put in, in the chat for his foot. It's actually my, it was my heel. I whacked, I'm not really, this, um, this desk is shaped really weird. I don't know if you guys have ever gotten to see it. Maybe in like the wasp video. But, um, it's shaped really strange. And when I say strange, I mean like, um, I've never seen a desk shaped like this. This thing's like 2,000 pounds. I don't know how it's not crushing through the floor. Um, I really like watching cute charm live streams because your reaction is always funny. <laughs> I don't know why. I, also, we get the funniest stupid names. Uh, well, there is Silva Gunner and uh, Gilva Sunner, and I thought maybe you meant Silva Gunner because it's more known. I don't know any either of those. My other feet hate wasps. Remember the wasp video? My mistake. Yeah, I, I. Hopefully, we don't have a wasp problem coming soon. Man, it's already getting hot in here. You guys don't want to come out and put our AC in. I'm really mad because I bought that thing. It was expensive. Uh, just for the record, the Q Charm. Um, as of right now, I have Q Charm episodes going out to June. Uh, episode 100, for the record, is going to be June 9th. Um, if you just did some math, you would have known that. Um, but, uh, anyway, um, so I don't need to record it, like, right away. The next thing I gotta do is actually, um, let's go Eevee. And, um, Monster Hunter World or Monster Hunter, well, I can't record Monster Hunter World until the event starts. 
I gotta say, I'm not really sure. Remember Starbucks? I don't know how they are. You guys ask me how occasional Pokemon are doing, and I'm like, rotting in a box somewhere. <laughs> You're talking to Ballista? Oh, okay. Get an empty wasp nest and put it in your attic to keep away wasps? It, it's not my attic. It's actually outside. The problem is the sealant around my window right here um, is really bad. And um, bugs just come right in. Shoot. I gotta get perfect line. So that was punch out. I just barely heard it. But that was punch out. Actually, that goes a little low. I'm gonna try and fix that. Ah, Xenoblade. Gower Plane, I think. That is a good game. I never played 2. I was really off-put by the uh, anime, hyper-anime direction that they took the game. Because, like, it looked so great before in this middle ground where characters were exaggerated a bit, but they were, like, shaded in a way that made them look, um... I don't know, it looked so new and different and its own thing, and it looked great. And the art, the concept art, is spectacular. And then they go to Xenoblade 2, where it's like, they just go, ah, straight up anime. Like, why? Why? I'm sure the game is probably just as good, but I was like, ah, oh, I lost so much interest right then, AKA Monado Boy. This track? Gower Plane, you're just literally running around like the Bionis' knee, I think. Okay, use tape on the window like I do because my window is like that too. Uh, what I gotta do, I can actually climb out on my roof and I just gotta get out there and seal the darn thing better. I love how flies go inside people's houses and expect to leave. <laughs> it's a dark joke. I find it funny, I don't like flies. I was actually, Kim was actually looking to get me a, um, a Venus flytrap for my room. I love Venus flytraps. Anyway, I used to have one actually, uh, and he was well fed. He, my plant has a gender and a name. His name was Bethany, which I think I had an, a uh, Gyarados or something. I've had Pokemon named Bethany. Whoa, chat froze weird. I could chat. Uh, yes, get one named Carnivine. Carnivine is Kim's absolute least favorite Pokemon. If you say that the Venus Flytrap is gonna be named Carnivine, she will not buy it. So, maybe I need a Pitcher Plant so I can name it Victory Bell instead. Um, all right, I gotta do seven of these, right? It was seven, four, five, six, seven, all right. Three, four, five, Six, seven. Um, this is the Monado Boy music. Monado Boy. Okay, I think that's about right. There are other lines on these shoes, but I'm just gonna do this. Um, Harkle's still silver. What? What are you asking? chat froze and nothing came up. I was I was thinking you were going crazy talking to yourself. That's all day every day. Oh, oh, so I was talking to people, but oh, I get you. Okay, makes sense. But yeah, um, this is your opportunity while I'm stuck here doing my thing anyway. Obnoxiously cracking all of my my tired fingers. Um, about shiny Gyarados. What was your previous question? Read this like you were said. But, but, Carnivine's cute. Carnivine's kind of the antonym of cute. Real talk, hamster be cray cray. Uh, Hargle, sir, what are you talking, you asked no question, Ballista. Blistina. Bliss, I, have you just accepted that my, my, um, dyslexia calls you Ballista? Are you cool with that? Because that's just what, how life is. We just gotta go with the flow. And that's the flow. Alright, um, now I gotta start zigging my zags. That technically would alternate, so this would now be on top. Did I do that right? Yeah, okay. 
Kim's probably gonna be mad because I did the wrong lace direction. She gets mad about little things like that. Like apparently, like you can tell it's a women's shirt or a guy's shirt if the buttons go the other way. As if like all men are right-handed. No, left-handed. Like all men are left-handed and all women are right-handed or something like that. Um, I, I, I see that when you're uh, trying to get me to say Arceus. It's, uh, I see the C there. Hamster confused. Hamster decided to go to sleep. I actually didn't sleep that well last night. I woke up at like five and I was just laying there like, go back to bed. And I, I don't remember how long I was laying there like that. And eventually, um, I did go back to sleep. But the thing is, um, by the time that happened, I was like, it was too late. Hold on. Two things are supposed to cross here, yeah. Okay, yeah, it goes like this. Oh, shoot. But I, uh, and then I uh, slept in too long when I finally did go back to sleep because my body's trying to make up for the time I lost. Bethany! Yeah, we need, um... Oh, wait, you're talking about Beth... Oh, yeah, Bethany! Um, I did name a Shiny Gyarados Bethany. I asked Kim what was an atrocious name. She said Bethany. <laughs> That's mean. Kim is a mean person, if you haven't uh, gotten that yet from the series of anything she's from. Kim is just mean. So do we have any uh, Monster Hunter World players from PS4 in the stream right now? I got a question for you guys. I got mentioned before, but nobody answered me. And uh, I want to know to tell Kim if, um, oh, there's supposed to be a line here too. If anybody would want to hunt with her and help her get up to, uh, she is right now at the point where they asked her in high rank to fight the three main Elder Dragons before Xena Jiva. Um, she really wants to get to the point where she can beat and do uh, the Ancient Leshen quests because she loves Siri. Siri is her favorite, maybe her favorite female character, like in general. And um, I don't know if uh, she'll be able to do that by herself. She, she's going to need some help. So having your guys' assistance would be greatly appreciated with that one. Um, no, that's not Hammy. It's because women had handmaidens to do their blouses back in days with corsets, and men would do their own shirts. Ah, oh, that's a that actually makes a lot of sense. It's horrible, but it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, because women had to do their own blouses, and men would do their own shirts. That's interesting. Bath time! Say that when I just finished uh, drawing a shoe. That one does certainly look bigger and a little bit more correct than this one. So I'm gonna just preemptively, I know Kim's gonna say it. So I'm just gonna chop her off right at the ankle and let's make this thing a little bit bigger to fix it. About there. Let's try and line the ankle back up so I minimize how much time I gotta spend fixing this. Or I could just line one of them up. Okay, about here. That looks better. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom back in. Um, obviously erase some of this. Because that ain't right. Okay. Um, uh, would Kim do a live takeover, though? Oh, yeah. She'd be playing. Exotic Keeper. She'd totally be playing. Now, I'd probably be there... But I couldn't play. We have we only have the PS4 in one copy. So she's just she logs in as herself and plays Monster Hunter World as herself. So uh, she would not be able to uh, play with me at all, which is what really stinks. Kind of wish we could. All right, there we go. I think I fixed it. So now it's just flower time. I'm gonna start. Um, let me see. I should probably sketch the rest of these instead. Uh, I'm gonna try and catch up on questions too, because I, I miss I miss some of these. Um, I don't even play PS4. I I didn't until um, you guys sent me one. <laughs> What's your thought about Mario and Zelda VR Switch? 
Um, I heard about the Zelda loosely. I didn't really look into it because, um, I'm not really sure how that's gonna function yet. I'm not really into VR at all. I get sick enough with certain first person games. That would be a little too much. Though I almost picked up Breath of the Wild again, um, recently. I'm gonna put like another one of these hydrangeas or something like that over there. Any chance you'll talk with Doug Ten Napel to promote your graphic novel? Um, who's that? I don't even know who that is. <laughs> um, what do you think about? I mean, like, I want to be able to promote the thing. I want it to do well. I honestly do not know who that is. Um, what do you think about uh, FNAF VR? I didn't know it was a thing, but it makes perfect sense. In fact, that game could have always been VR. Has that not been VR in this whole time? What's your favorite pets on Nintendogs plus cats? I never played that one. I played the original Nintendogs, and, um... I don't know. I just, uh... I don't know. I, I Actually, they never made the breed that I would have wanted, which was Samoids. Um, Hamster, you can't use Sketch. You're still asleep. You have to wait two more turns. I, I, uh, definitely, um, was holding, uh, Lumberry, and I'm good. Jeez. As long as I, uh, wait, why was I asleep? Oh, because you, you put, I don't know. I'm very confused there. All right, so I can close this tab I have on the shoes. Now, Kim has a bunch of different plant names that I started kind of loosely sketching here to try and get them right. These are... Echinacea? I don't know how to say that. Echinacea? The, these tiny little ones. The Clematis are a little bigger. Where is that thing? Is that the one that I have the big one? And then I have geraniums, hydrangeas, and petunias. I'm gonna look at the Clematis. So it's about a six, uh, large six petal. Oh, it's always six petal. I have one that's seven. I gotta fix that. I was not paying attention. Alright, so, let me fix that. Um, Doug is the creator of Earthworm Jim. Oh, he does other comics, graphic novels, and streams with other comic artists, loves to promote smaller artists. That's really cool. I did not know that. Um, one, two, four, five, six. Okay, that, that one's cool. Yeah, I gotta, um, I gotta look that up then. I did not know that. How am I gonna fix this here? I'm gonna take out these two big petals and uh, one needs to somehow be here in this space. Actually, I'm just drawing on a sketch layer anyway. It's cool if I just totally get rid of this. Um, now you're holding a Hamsterium Z. What? I can't, what? No, there is no such thing. If there was, what, what would happen? I have no idea. What would be the purpose? When I use rest my Pokemon, I mean like for, I don't even understand the purpose of exclusive Pokemon name Z crystal things. I'm trying to get this shape right still. Okay, there, I made it six again, so I'll, I'll clean it up later. Um, when I use rest my Pokemon sleep for 10 years, and when my opponent uses rest Pokemon sleep for 10 minutes, um, it's all, when you use rest, it's always two turns. It's guaranteed two turns. Um, but when um, you are put to sleep, say like by hypnosis or something, then it's two to five, I think. Isn't it two to five? Oh, this isn't even his vinyl form. No, that would uh, that would involve merging with like the plushies I can grab around me. So I got bob -omb here. Oh, I used to have um, the Jigglypuff. But Kim keeps stealing it and putting it in the room with all the other Pokemon. So oh, I can't. So I have bob -omb here. I just need a hamster. I don't even like hamsters. Did you guys know that? I don't like hamsters. Like at all. I don't know where that really came from. I know exactly where it came from. Just don't know if I should like tell you. And then this, this one's really easy to draw. Just a bunch of freaking little petals everywhere. And then uh, I'm drawing some loose petals, which is really making this easy. All right. Um, 
Pac-Man. Guess his uh, trainer forgot he still has to evolve. <laughs> yes, my, my trainer is uh, quite poor. Oh, Jigglypuff is good. Needs his own Wiggly. I don't have a Wigglytuff plushie. I have um, the Jigglypuff. The Jigglypuff one's perfect. I can go grab it. In fact, I'm just gonna take it back. I keep taking it, and she keeps putting it back in this room. It's mine. It's even like perfectly sized to go uh, with my bob -omb up here in the front. Here, see? The little buddies. Explosive and adorable at the same time. Um, and of course, uh, bring in all the ladies. Uh, what? Then how are you named Hamster Bomb? Hamster confused Victini. Victini use protect. Victini protect himself from Hamster's confusing moves. Um, oh, yikes. I had a message from parents about a funeral. Um, wow. Um, long story short, my grandmother is a horrible person. Yeah. Yeah, PJ Mines and Crafts. Wait, Gen 27, there's a hamster Pokemon. There kind of was, but even still, um, like I said, I'm just not a hamster person. So, I don't really know where it would go. Let me try and get, like, the center of these flowers right, and then, uh... Gotta do six petals, Alex. All right, two. Mm, this way. Okay, that's all right. Put like a floating petal here. Ugh, now what? I hate when I'm in a group chat. Wait, no, what? That was different. Ah, okay. Yeah, it was... A friend of mine who wakes up around this time of day. Probably doesn't realize I'm doing this right now. Um, that's a little cluttered with plants over here, so I'm gonna die it down just a bit. Put, uh, a few of, um... Yeah, Dedene is hamster-like. But, I don't know, I never liked the Dene. <laughs> um, I don't like hamsters. I don't like them. They bother me. And they're just weird little... Ugh, I, I don't like anything about them. I don't like them. <laughs> That's not why... It's not like a menacing thing, hamster bomb, like I wanted to kill hamsters. Of course not. But, at the same time, um... You know, I don't want people to feel like I enjoy hamsters. It has nothing to do with that. That looks a little weird. Because originally what was swirling, were, what I used for big ones were rainbow fish, and then I used like minnows, dinky little things. So I'm using like petals from hydrangea? I don't know, I can't really pronounce these. Um, Bettina uses fire blast, super effective. Hamster now needs water. Hamster used sketch. Hamster drew a flower. This is getting a little out of control. <laughs> Only a little bit, Bikini. Um, I'm gonna try more of uh. These really have only five petals? I'm gonna check, what are these supposed to be? Oh, so it's not exactly a petal, it's more of like a ruffly shape, a petunia. If I can get that right. Oh, geraniums are the five. Let me try and get the roughly shaped ones more. It's more like that. Oh, this is just generic Smash Brothers stuff. Yay! Uh, answer your good drawing. Oh, thank you. That's a little. That's a little better than whatever I was getting at before from you. I was very confused. I'm not looking for compliments doing this. I'm actually just doing this just because I wanted to stream with you guys. Um, I'm gonna put one of these, uh, whatever they're called, Kim knows. She's the one who told me to get certain flowers. I don't know what they are. 
Hamster trainer used the max potion. Hamster's speed was restored. Hamster can now finish his drawing. Victini ran away. Hamster's trainer is sad. He wubs us. I do. I do wubs you guys. Otherwise, I get like totally bored doing one thing. Well, I can then listen to music that um I would uh, not have the ability to stream, <laughs> which I do. Uh, Garchomp. 8 BP Pro. Welcome to the stream. Hey, I'm drawing for my graphic novel. I'm trying to get some um, plants, basically. Lots of these things. If I can, like, get to a point where I feel comfortable sketching these things out, then, uh, I'm not going to sketch anymore. I'm just gonna, like, loosely draw where they go. I think this is supposed to be the Clematis. I'm totally amazed by how large the Clematis flower was. I had no idea they were that big. heck are we listening to? This is still sort of the Smash Brothers theme. It's getting really weird. Pokemon Battle Royale. Is that what... This isn't Pokemon. True, but uh, wouldn't you want to jump around, sing, and shake your hammy tail? Excuse me? <laughs> Alolan Krabby, level 24 bug type, hold item, uh, Koba Berry, ability swarm, moves vine, vice, vice grip, I assume, bug buzz, screech, rototiller, I don't even know what rototiller is. That's a move? Or did you seriously just make that up? Cause that sounds made up. Okay. Should I just keep doing one set or do the bottom now? I'll just do the bottom. Uh, <clears throat> Hamsters and like other YouTubers who stream for money and not entertainment other subs. Uh, yeah, if I was subs if I was streaming for money, you'd never see this. This would never show up because this, if anything, this is depleting subscribers who just want to see like the kind of uh, clickbaity content that they're expecting. I'm here just to talk to people. Uh, well, you're hammy, so you don't have a tail feather, and, uh, what is add music? You can't stream. I was going to listen to music. If you actually want, uh, on your own time to look up an album that I've been really liking lately, and would have probably tried to stream, uh, look up the band Def Havana, and the album Old Souls. It's like... Lovely. Awesome. Um, Rototiller tilling the soil. The user makes it easier for plants to grow. This raises the attack and special attack of grass type Pokemon. They're making so many weird um, moves that are just not necessary to the game. Uh, Wild Celebi appeared. Go Fione. What will Hamster tell Fione to do? Evolve. Um, Roselia used confusion. Super effective. Actually, um,. Fiona can't evolve, which always confused me. Why is it actually a baby uh, Manaphy if it can't evolve, you know what I mean? That should be like a Pokemon quiz question. Which Pokemon cannot evolve into <laughs> its next stage ever? This is so weird. Roselia use confusion is super effective. Yeah, I'm all kinds of confused here. Me trying to watch it 720, uh, PC? No. You know, um, 720 is the max I ever do, too, so, uh... I wish I could do more than that, because, like, I feel bad, because, like, I play games and stuff, and I'll see, like, oh my gosh, this game looked really cool, but you guys just can't see the, the real quality of it, because I had to do it at 720 or 30 FPS or something like that. I'm like, oh, I feel bad, like I ruined this game. But at the same time, it's... I'm gonna hide, like, a big one back here. I don't know, is that a, is that a stupid thing to say? I always feel like I, I'm ruining the game like that. Alright, cool, that's plenty. Actually, I'm gonna put, like, another there. Um, like, lovely, look down at my metal t-shirt, making sure I'm not wearing unicorns today. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, um, this band used to be like, uh, kind of like hardcore, screamy, post alternative kind of thing. And now, um, they're totally not. It's like something you would hear on the radio, but they're actually really talented, uh, which is something you don't hear on the radio. Um, so I gotta say, like, it's, I was very surprised because I only knew them back in their old days. And then, like, I checked on them out of the blue the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, they, like, got, like, of all bands, I would have su suspected to, like, flop and fail. It was them. And not only did that not happen, they did very well for themselves. So I was like, wow, this is awesome. Um, I need, uh, one of these over here. This is still, uh, four, I think? Yeah, this isn't Brawl, right? Um, isn't Fiona kind of useless? I kind of like it. <laughs> it is kind of useless. Mana Fie can only be cra uh, created uh, because of the minerals in the Ranger region. Water. <laughs> <laughs> the mineral water. <laughs> Oh, uh, let me try and get more of these, uh... That was a really terrible sketch. I'm sure I'm gonna fix it later. Oh, they made so many versions of, like, the same thing. Um, let's see. More, please. More flowers. Uh, I should probably put another... Big one up there. Some petals. Hoorah! I did a thing, now I can move up, I think. Am I done here? Might want a few more. Down here, because that was where I started and I didn't really have a lot. Um, that Fione evolve into Manaphy is just a misconception. Exactly, I know, it's why it's so... Oh, actually, this goes in the front. My bad. That's why I find it so funny. So I definitely am gonna have to draw this in the front. It's gonna look a little weird. Um, could you find a music list about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? I tried, but, um... It's not on Cage Insider, which is what we're listening to right now. So, I I just wanted to stick to what was on there. I think it's... I don't know if it's like it's too new or something, but still. Uh, Hamster, if YouTube made our channels use emojis instead of words, yours would be kind of dark. <laughs> it it kind of is. Uh... Makes uh, live on Photoshop, doesn't pay same flower, why we love you, Hammy. Um, oh no, I'm not, I'm totally not gonna paste them over and over again. I'm going to, I, for one, I'm actually drawing them all individually anyway, just because I wanna make sure that they all look different. This is a large page. And but still, like, pasting them, that would look awful. I don't know, I notice when people copy and paste art, I see that stuff. And sometimes it's cool when you're, like, trying to save time for, like, you want some character to sit still in one panel to the next, I get that. But, pasting the same, uh, something like this, where, like, if you took a photo of this, and flowers were actually moving around somebody like this, which the, the fish thing isn't happening either, so it's not a big deal. But assuming it was, they would never all, like, be in the same shape. They wouldn't look like that. I'm trying to get these in a reasonably um, believable position. Listening to some overly epic music from Smash Brothers. Um, ah, uh, large page. Figured it was just a super zoom. Right, yeah, yeah, this page is pretty big, and I'm actually putting in all the detail now. Um, I just wanted to make sure that the figure was proportional before I, you know, did all this nonsense. Which, honestly, like, it's detailed, but 
it's not that hard to draw. I gotta say, the fish were harder. Because fish have anatomy, and we can look at a fish, and even if it's, you know, something we don't really relate to, you know, you know, it's not like it has arms and legs, you can still tell when it's wrong. Flowers? No. You can screw those up all day, which is why I was like, Kim, I want the next chapter to be all about plants <laughs> for the extra background stuff. Plants. I'm not doing <laughs> any more with the fish. Though I love drawing the fish. And I've got more fish to draw, actually. I'm not even done with chapter one. I'm doing this one early, like I said, because I want um, this for the publisher. Because they're going to want to see something of a large thing of a character, and this actually matches that previous page, so I kind of wanted to do the same thing. Um, so, any who's... I still need, like... I'm sure there's random questions and stuff I can get from you guys. Oh, for the record, for the MMZR watchers, I have a post-it note right here when I went back and edited everything and made sure that um, I made notes of places we need to go back to. Um, so, and I've been wanting to make that episode now of MMZR where we go back and uh, go for all those uh, new environments or like treasure chests that we totally missed or places in Metroid that I could swear there's an item there. Uh, I know Joe was helping us a lot with that stuff too, so hopefully we'll have uh, Joe's assistance. Hopefully this isn't too many plants. I'm I'm trying to get like a correct ratio of the plants. I'm not trying to be that guy, but would you actually see like a petal down here? Would that be much? That, that'd be too much. I'm not going to put anything down there. Um, Believably, yeah, I have the same issue of random flower tornadoes around me when I stand in the corner of nowhere. Exactly, I mean like, well nobody has fish, and this one happens first. It's because it's like, it'll make sense in the book. I'm not, an, I'm not gonna go there. It'll make sense in the book. Um, I'm just kind of alternating between like the same three series, so I hope it doesn't look like... Because this, th okay, I hope this looks like a random, like you said, flower tornado. I don't want it, and like plants, I don't want it to look like... Can you see the pattern here that I'm doing of like the same ratios? I'm alternating some. I don't want that to be clear. That would, I'm actually gonna stagger it then. Let's do two of these. And then maybe some more of these instead. And then followed by like maybe several of the big ones. Like that. Uh, so are you gonna publish it issue by issue or just have to be a, uh, a trade paperback? Um, so the total page count is actually, um, Yank, come on, shut up. Um, the total page count is actually like 240 pages and that's before um, the legal stuff goes in it and there's probably gonna be extra bonus pages, not of art like this, of the story, but of uh, other content. And um, I, Normally, I write all my stuff issue-based, 24 pages at a time, because that's the norm. <sighs> this story demanded that its first issue be longer, which I've done that before. I made a 28-pager for a chapter, or for a issue one before, so I was like, you know what? Um, maybe this is just its thing. Uh, no, chapter two kind of demanded the same sort of thing, so... I was like, ah, oh, great. Um, no, I, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna have to make this, um, now there totally would be a petal under there. I'm never gonna see that, that I did that though. I'm gonna erase instead. Okay, um, so I want it to be like that, but I don't, it, it just, the page, the page numbering would be too erratic. Um, I think I have a document actually in Google Docs, I don't have it pulled up right now, um, that says I have it listed how many pages are in each chapter. Not a single one of them is uh, 24 or below. They're all too high. So instead I was like, okay, it just needs to be chapter based anyway. Besides, it's one of those stories where people really need to uh, make sure they read it to the end because if you read too much in the beginning, you'll probably start getting the wrong idea about what the story's about. And um, I definitely don't want that. Um, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Oh, shoot, I didn't like no petals here. The petals are the easy ones. I gotta make sure those are in there. 
I'm not obviously putting in a lot of time and effort into drawing good petals yet. Um, it's an athletic theme without ba. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, 240, geez, Hamsi's, Hammy's going comic ham. Oh, uh, it's quite long, yeah. I think about 120 is the average for trade paperback. Yeah, exactly. This is a graphic novel. It's not a paperback. Tri typically, trade paperbacks will do, um, five issues. Um, it depends on, uh, the publisher, but, yeah. They're, um, they all kind of vary. But I gotta say, this one, it's just one of those stories where I feel like I'm cutting it short if I stopped you early. And, really, you, mmm. I don't know, I feel like I just can't do it. Let's try and put one of those back there. Okay, cool. Uh, now, I should be back here, and then we gotta cross in front. I gotta get used to this, I gotta do the tornado right. Picture book! It is a picture book. It's of sequential art. Uh, Kirby hands you an internet cookie. I'll do a quick Kirby. I'm gonna do a Kirby. See if I can, by memory. Kirby holding an internet cookie. Hold on. Yay! Kirby with an internet cookie! I can sorta of do it. Alright, goodbye Kirby. Let it be known on this page when that sucker prints, Kirby was on it at one point. Actually, Kirby might be in this book eventually. I gotta talk when I get a publisher who's like happy with this. Um, I'm hoping for a second. Um, when I talk to a publisher, I wanna see if I can actually get Kirby in this book. There's a segment where I need a giant plush toy and I want it to be Kirby. I want it to be Kirby. Think of it this way, no matter what, you'll at least have one person buying it, the person who's me. Crazy Crafter, I appreciate you, except that'll totally not pay for this. If, I, if, you know, if you think of it that way, if guaranteed only one person was going to buy the book, the book would have to cost relative, you know, the, the one copy would have to cost relative to how many people are purchasing it, and if it's one, the one copy is gonna cost like, $20,000 at least. <laughs> Probably way more than that. Uh, Curb's a bob -omb, jiggly mesh. He totally is. I love that Curb. You gotta love the Curb. So I've actually got two sketch layers that I don't need anymore. I'm gonna, um, land zero. Uh, the original one down here was the original sketch layer so I could try and get my anatomy uh, matching the other drawing and in the direction. So I'm actually going to totally discard that layer so I'm not distracted by it anymore. Now this is what I'm drawing on. And then uh, my inks I could just remove. All right, don't need to though. Oh, don't, don't draw on that. Drawing on sketches. I still don't like the face on this page. It's a little too close. Um, if you put Kirby, make it hold an internet cookie. Um. I don't know if I could do, I, see, I don't even know if I can do the Kirby. Um, uh, like, talk to the right people about that. See if it's even possible. Okay, it's just like kind of turning here too, so I wanna make sure I got this right. Flowers are so much easier to draw than fish. That's all I've learned from this so far. I was scared of doing this, because I thought this was gonna be too much. I didn't even ink it yet. Uh, needs six. All right. Or make the plushie a hamster. Like the Marvel movie of uh, promoing your own stuff. <laughs> well, um, oh, like a hamster grenade, hamster bomb grenade, that's actually a pretty good idea. Um, I'm probably gonna slip in some stuff like that, like in um, one of my comics, um, Dawn, I have uh, the main character in like a quick one-off panel reading um, the first issue of my other book. <laughs> it's very clear that that's what he's reading. So it's, I do not so subtle stuff like that sometimes where I'm like, um, yeah, that's what he's reading. <laughs> 
or uh, just put Kirby in a cookie jar next to it. Put a big Kirby in a big cookie jar. He's eating cookies right now. I have no idea if uh, Kirby can even make it, guys. Let's not get our hopes up about the Kirby. A donkey dong. A donkey kong. A donkey kong. A donkey 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 kong. Uh, I'm gonna try one more of those little ones. Oh no, this goes in front, my bad. Sheesh. It's like so confusing doing this after the fact, but I had to draw the figure first, so. Um, but where can I read the comics you already made? Yeah, so I'm actually, um, what I was gonna do today was, I, what well, I am still doing, was I wanted to finish up this proposal for, um, yes, I'll find it in a picture book, sign me up. Uh, Oh, the... Yes, a Find It picture book. Sign what? What do you mean? Um, or you tell me to hide stuff throughout the book. Um, but anyway, I wanted to work on this proposal document in order to... Uh, whoa, what happened to my... Okay, no, it's fine. I was like, what's wrong with my uh, brush sensitivity? It's, it's all wonked out here. Um, so I want to do... Um, Let's see, my proposal document to send to first second. I've already got like the first part of it like written. Um, but the problem is, oh, I can't even see that through the sketch of the character. Um, oh no, this is just weird where this happens to cross. Um, big flower, six petals. Um, and what I need is a bunch of different extra um, art to show them what it's gonna look like. I'm trying to answer your question, it's still crazy. I'm sorry, I'm like a little distracted, like how I'm gonna get the petals in the right spot. And um, anyway, so I'm working on that now, because this is one thing I wanna send them. That's why I'm drawing page 47 and I should be doing 15. Um, assuming I go in order. There should be one more thing down here. Um, and uh, I gotta slow down with stuff. It's a little too much. Um, anyway, so this is one of the things I wanted to show them, because they wanted to see a full page of a character. So I'm going to send this one when it's finished. Um, also after this, I have to write like a story synopsis for them. And then, um, anyway, once I was finished with the proposal, uh, another thing I have to do for them, and I'm finally coming around to your question, is I have to rebuild my website like from scratch. My old one was up before, but unfortunately, um, it's all like pretty much gone um, because my internet um, provider, a service provider, not my internet provider, uh, basically is done and they're not gonna be hosting me anymore. I, d I couldn't afford to keep hosting. Um, and that's where you guys were actually able to buy comics there, but I never really made videos about it. It was my fault, I know. Um, but I never really made videos about it, so I was like, this is kind of my fault. If I wanted the comics to do well, I should have keep, I should have told you, like, hey, I make comics, here they are. I, I don't know, I was just nervous about it or something like that, or, I, that's actually what the channel used to be about, is the comics, and um, it just, kind of shifted over time to where I'm like, okay, um, I want to make sure you guys know now because it's it's clearly something that I'm trying to bring back and do. All right, so here we go. Now we got two different directions. Good. I made sure it's not crossing the face or anything weird. Um, so anyway, that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm trying to really work on getting this proposal looking awesome. And then I'm going to have a website um, where you can get my old stuff. I'm probably gonna have an option to do a digital purchase instead, but I have a ton of physical stock. Um, I might do uh, conventions again. I haven't done them in a while where I'm gonna go and um, physically be there and do uh, signings with this stuff. Um, I have several old series. I say old, but I've actually got plans of uh, reviving them. They're not dead. So don't think of it like that. Uh, hiding stuff. Sounds fun. Like, uh, okay, a real fan will find the Kirby-shaped chocolate chip cookie and know why the plushie's a bomb. Ah, yeah, okay, so the cookie, I could just make a cookie be Kirby. 
All right, so see that bubble right there that I'm going into? That's actually going to be a speech bubble, so I don't need to draw in there. Excellent. So I'm already done with all of that. Uh, Blazing Gamer! This is a surprise! Hey there! If I get a uh, shiny Mewtwo, do I make Decidueye use Spirit Shackle? My Decidueye has better defenses than attack and special attacks. Or do I just fall swipe? Just fall swipe. It's not worth it. Do not try and kill that thing. It is weak to Spirit Shackle. Don't even risk it. Um, the Biscuit should not be risk it. Now, assuming I'm doing a bid one here, let's do like the edges of one of these big flowers. I appreciate how uh, nonsensical this, um, what am I trying to say, uh, soundtrack is. It's just so random. Probably why I love Smash Bros so much. Alright, cool, that's basically done on that side. I just need to do the, ooh, actually, let's just do this and then I have one last line and I'm done. Well then, of course, I have to ink it all. Um, but still. This is smaller, because it's basically the ending of it. And it goes... Basically straight into that, uh, cloud up there, so we're done. Um, I might want to add a little bit of something else to it. One of those whatchacallits. <laughs> um, ooh, conventions. Um, so yeah, if I did conventions, I don't know who would actually be able to come up and see me. I mean, uh, I'd be there for the comic, but I'd obviously still want to see uh, people from my YouTube channel because that'd be so much fun. Plus, that's still my same audience, right? It'd be, it'd be fun. I would want. I'd love to do that. It's just expensive. We might even have to do like a fundraiser just for it. I will now be studying in your humble company, Blazing Gamer. A wonderful, wonderful choice. Basically, um, that's like all I'm doing anyway. Is just giving you guys the opportunity to. Chat with me while I'm here. Hey, Blazing Gamer, um... Hold on. I don't remember. Were you one of the Monster Hunter uh, players or no? Because I was asking if anybody would actually be able to do uh, some with Kim. Because I know she is going to really want the Siri outfit. But she's going to need some help. And I can't help her because we play on the same physical system. Um, To, like, play with her. And Monster Hunter. So, like, if I was playing... No, I'm pretty sure you said you had P... P... Uh, your flower petal drawing is incredibly satisfying to watch. I'm glad because I feel bad about drawing something so simple, but at the same time, I gotta say, they're actually really fun to draw and they're really simple because I feel like I can't really screw them up. Like You're really just like squiggling. But granted, this is the sketch too, so. All right, so this is supposed to be six petals. Da -da. I always like this remix they did. Uh, let's add a few out here. Actually, let's just do the petals first. Um, I'm on PC, though, that's the problem. Yeah, I wish I was on PC as well, because then actually Kim and I could have both played, but the thing is then we would have had paid twice over for the game. So, it's tough. Um, I still say you make it a Kim takeover, even if uh, you wasn't there. Extra episodes. Ah, I see what you mean. Would you guys be up for that? I could actually make episodes of uh, Kim doing that. The thing is, um, why she doesn't want to do it right now, the next four hunts she has are her first ever. Kushala Deora, um, Teostra, and Val Hazak, uh, and then Xenojiva. So, um, she, like, really doesn't want to, you know, she, she hunts like me, she wants to make sure that the first time she got to do it herself, you know, so, um, I see that, I understand, I get it. The only thing is, um, I feel like, um, she's gonna regret that when she tries it by herself, they might be really tough. She's, she's really good at the game, but she's not, like, um, she stresses out sometimes, and she'll freak out and, like, start pushing buttons randomly when she's really in trouble. Which, if you guys know, in Monster Hunter is the last thing you want to do. So, um, it gets kind of dangerous like that. Alright, cool. Random petals here. Now we're going to go over the face. Um, ah, perfect place to make it look like there's this big petal on the character's head. 
in her hair. The only spot where the flowers actually made sense was this one here. <laughs> All the others are just nonsensical, random petals. Um, wish I did. Uh, I still say you make a. Okay, right. Even if he wasn't there, uh, sure, I'm up for it. All right, cool. Victini Mucky, I don't know if you ever um, have played that before. There was something else I wanted to talk to you guys about. Oh, it was a birthday thing. It's a mini rant. It's kind of stupid, but still, that's all this is about, right? It's just talking. All right, now this is a longer line. I gotta get all the way out there. Um, I didn't watch much Monster Hunter since I failed at Monster Hunter for you, but the last Kim takeover was funny. Um, uh, the old button mash technique. Yeah, that certainly is not a good strategy in Monster Hunter, so I want to make sure that she doesn't, you know, resort to something like that. And she's okay. Um, I know this is off topic a bit, but, uh, what do you use to record your consoles? Okay, so I have a couple different pieces of hardware. Um, let me... I'm gonna, that's a big question, so I'm gonna jump ahead and read the rest of the comments and I'll catch up with you, okay? I never played Monster Hunter, but I have watched your videos of Monster Hunter. Buff announcer. Melee! Oh, we are in Melee! Melee! I love that game. Melee is so wonderful. I'm gonna make this flower at a bit of an angle so it's not as much of a distraction as the other one will be. Okay, so anyway, the hardware. I have several different things. Um, oh, and what weapon does she use? She actually uses uh, mostly the greatsword, and uh, she likes dual blades, um, and she's been trying out the insect glaive. She enjoys it, but the problem is she stressed when she gets stressed out, she'll get destroyed with the insect glaive because it fights so different and she forgets how to use it in those clutch situations. So, that's the problem. Fire! Um, so anyway, what I record with, um, I used to record with this, um, piece of software, basically you plug your HDMI output from your game console into it, and then it has another output that goes into your computer. Um, it was called a, Matt and I both had one, we called it a hodgepodge, because it didn't, the name of it was so confusing. But it's actually, like, hop, hop a gauge, hop a gauge, hop hog pog? It might be hog pog, it's so hard to tell. But anyway, um, so that's like the name of the thing. I'm just gonna put random petals out in the distance that I will fill in. Um, but anyway, nowadays, uh, cause that thing's kinda outdated, I use, um, an Elgato, which I actually got, I installed it into my computer. It basically plugs straight into the motherboard, and it reaches into the back. So the back of my computer now has two more HDMI ports on it. One's an in, one's an out. So basically I plug the game console into the in, so now my computer can basically get it directly, and then the out goes to my monitor. So I can still see what I'm playing while it's recording in the computer. So it's, it's kind of neat, I really like that thing. Anyway, uh, it's Elgato is the big one that I'm using right now, and other than that, uh, uh, OBS, uh, the software, I'm, I'm even using OBS right now. Okay, uh, let's control zero. Um, I think we're good, we can ink. Um, it's a lot. Looks like a lot. I hope it's not too much. Kim might be upset if I do too much. But... Only find out by just trying it. I can erase them later. It's always a thing I can do. Um, I use the long sword and I kind of programmed my reflex to use the counter slash when I panic, so I can take a brief deep breath and continue with a clear mind. When <laughs> I keep trying to tell her this, when I panic, I am I dodge roll immediately, put the weapon away, run and keep dodging, keep running. That's my panic. My panic is not attack. That's her panic, and that's why she gets killed. <clears throat> so, and that's probably why I solo all my monsters first. And I generally don't die when I do that. All right, I should get a picture of what these flowers actually look like to make sure I'm doing this properly. Um, oh, they are very interesting. Interesting little plants. Probably screwing this up, but still. 
the singing Yoshi song. I love this one. I was looking for Elgato's, but they are so expensive. Um, mine wasn't that bad. It was, um, I'm guessing the range of 40 to 60. It wasn't that bad. Um, because, oh yeah, so they cost a lot more if it's not internal hardware. Buy the internal one and just install it yourself, if you know how to do that. Of course. I'm gonna sketch it like this. And then, uh... That looks all right. Gotta say, drawing flowers is actually so much more, uh, what's the word here? Um, less stress-inducing than doing the fish. Um, but yeah, I've, um, it's just physically an Elgato back there, and obviously I'm not using it at the moment. Actually, if you wanna see what it looks like if I switch something over right now, this is it. I, this is my Elgato right now. Basically, it says there's no signal. I'm pretty sure you guys can actually see the no signal thing. I hope so. Because that was my... Well, I was trying to show you instead of a black screen. Um, but still, yeah. It, it, you literally just um, plug it in. It's not that bad. Um, that's how I managed to do the double temper Basil Deuce solo quest. I let uh, themselves blow each other up, and then I wait for, in for the finish. Sometimes it's better to let the hunt unfold on itself. I was going to do that one solo, but... It was honestly, it was the music in Astera. I was like, I'm not gonna play this game until I can come in one more. Oh, Kim would be so mad if she saw me zooming this close. It's all for the sake of that little guy right there. It looks so much better now because I did that. Now, back to normal. Um, also, I gotta make these more petal shaped. Kim doesn't like me zooming in that close because it's usually a problem. But anyway, I thought I could have done it, but since I was going to be online anyway for the behemoth, I was like, nah, I'm... Might as well just play with you guys for the stuff anyway. It was late, so who cares. Uh, you've convinced me. So, I don't see how I've convinced you, but good luck to you. Oh, were you trying to beat... I I've talked to several people who've been like... Stuck trying to solo stuff in for you. Uh, Exotic Keeper, I don't remember if you were the one who was, like, desperately trying to beat that one quest. Um, Master's Test, is that it? I feel so bad for so many people because they keep telling me how hard that is and they can't possibly do it. And I keep telling them, like, I feel bad, but that's the quest that I spammed for um, Wyvern Stones. Were they stones or... What are those things where that powered up your, your stuff? I love doing that quest for it. It's the absolute best because you like had a guaranteed large and then like two smalls it's like, oh so nice um it's honestly one of the most stress inducing hunts I've ever uh, done yeah I can imagine I wish uh, I could go back and solo it that kind of makes me a little bummed uh, same for the tempered Kieran though granted I would do that just for the lols Hamster gotta go, join the next live stream by Hamster. All right, thanks for joining Victini, it's been plenty, it's been uh, plenty fun. Um, nah, I'm a Kimothy player, it's like uh, just after Gravios. Um, oh, I snuck in, dude, what the heck am I doing? I, um, yeah, Kim says the same thing. <laughs> she gets in there, oh shoot, you can't even really see me when I'm leaning over that far. I got a new chair, if you guys can see back there, there's a little hole in it. It's supposed to have a hole in it. But it's a new chair. Um, this thing is uh, pretty nice. I'm really liking this new chair. I got this for my birthday. Segue into the birthday thing that I forgot to tell you guys about. So, um, I'm not like bitter about it or anything, but um, this is I, just a thing I've noticed has been happening. Um, my uh, parents, and you guys can probably relate to this, mostly my mom, she's the one who does the shopping. Uh, she always has issues buying things for me because she can never figure out what I actually like. Whenever she tries, she like misses pretty bad and I'm like, ah. So she's always been in the habit. I'm the one she needs me to make a, I have to make a list of things, you know, um, for like Christmas and birthdays. And what I do is um, 
I still like being surprised by stuff. You know, it's a gift. I don't want to feel like I asked for this and oh, here it is. Um, so instead, I want to make like a list that's like too big all the time. Um, and uh, that way I'm always surprised. But the problem is I've been having trouble even making lists that are like large at all lately because everything that I uh, want is something that I need because of how short we are on money right now. Catching up on comments will continue in a minute. Sometimes I get the urge to get back to Monster Hunter for you to try and solo up to G rank, but every time I see Black Rabio's quest to turn off the console, I just nope right out of the room. Um, do you know who Michael Rosen is? No, I don't. Um, Oh, sorry, Billy Bob, but you entered here and I totally missed your comment. I'm sorry, I was not ignoring you. I just, uh, I, I didn't see it. You would think I would be able to see all the comments like this, but I'm also trying to draw at the same time, so give me, give me some slack here. Michael Rosen, like, like a local person I should know, or are you just talking to online people? I don't really know. But anyway, anywho, my story. Um, so anyway, uh, actually I'm gonna go to Christmas, this past Christmas. Um, once again, I couldn't really come up with a big list, which is, you know, it's not a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal. Um, and, uh, the thing is, the very first thing on the list was, like, the only thing that I, like, wrote about, and I said, like, this is something that I really want. Um, like, I definitely, absolutely want this, and I found, like, a great deal for it on e eBay, Amazon. I always give her links, too, because sometimes she'll get confused and buy the wrong thing. Um, which I know that happens, so. Um, it has happened a lot, actually. Um, Michael Rosen's from the United Kingdom. He's a poet. He's best well known for writing, We're Going on a Bear Hunt. No, I have no idea who that is. Um, but anyway, um... So, um, because I know what had happened, uh, it, the, things like that have happened before in the past. I'm not going to get into this specific, it's not a big deal. So, uh, anyway, um, you may know him as the click noise, noise guy. No, I don't know that either. I am totally out of the loop of many a loop, actually. I'm going to try and make this a little more bulbousy, as it probably should be. Um... So anyway, uh, what was I saying? Um, keep losing track of where- Oh yeah, so, uh, this Christmas, the one thing that I really wanted was, uh, Rayman, uh, Legends, uh, for the Switch. And it was, it's, it was surprisingly cheap. I found a great deal for it. It was only like 25 bucks or something. Uh, but I, obviously, I didn't have the money. I was like, I really want to play this game. This game looks really fun. Um, and then, uh, the, my, the list I made was like inevitably too small, so I asked Kim for some help, and um, she helps me, uh, you know, fan it out with some other stuff that I need, and then like other fun stuff on it. But like this one big thing is clearly like in bold at the top. I really want this thing. Everything else, here's some other ideas and stuff. That's what basically what the rest of the list was. Um, and I feel like she reads these from the bottom to the top. Ah, Bartman, hey, welcome, man. Um, so. Uh, oh, and for anybody else who was new, guys, I'm basically drawing in my graphic novel today. Uh, we just sketched a bunch of, uh, flowers and plants and whatnot. And I'm basically going through and inking them and just chatting with you guys. Um, talking about a weird birthday experience. My birthday was actually just two days ago. Um, and anyways. So, um, you can probably see where this is going. I, uh start with this big bold thing at the top and everything's like oh well here's some other ideas inevitably somehow uh oh thanks Bartman she, she, my mom will end up and I'm not like I said I'm not bitter about it or anything she ends up oh yours was last Wednesday um how far off are we um wait hold up it's the ninth oh so your birthday is the third okay I was gonna say I was losing track of the days of the week yeah my birthday was a Sunday so it was like all kinds of confusal there so, um, anyway, like I said, you can probably see where this is going. She ends up getting, like, almost everything on my list. Actually, since my lists are kind of short, she ends up actually getting everything on my lists, except for the thing I really wanted. And it's every single time, <laughs> it seems. It's been the way for, like, the past three, like, birthday Christmases, which, like I said, it's not a big deal. Um, I remember on Christmas, the first thing I did, uh, later that day, was I opened up my, uh, 
eBay and navigated to um, the first Rayman Legends page I could find and bought the thing. So I was like, oh my gosh, I was so bummed. I was like, whatever, I'm gonna play this game, dang it. Sand. I did, and I'm actually playing it um, with Kim. It's a lot of fun. Um, I actually played all of Rayman Origins, for the record. I played it offline. Love that game. Super brutally hard. Um, but anyway, yeah, it was like really weird. Feel like that feeling when you're, um, you're really thankful, but at the same time pretty bummed. That's, yeah, that's exactly the way I feel. Because I, I am, I'm thankful. There's a bunch of things I really did need. Like, here, this chair. This chair is great. I asked for an, a new chair because you guys didn't see how bad my chair was before. Also, I finally, this is another thing. This is how poor I am. I didn't even have one of those things to roll on the ground on my carpet with. And, um, now I've got one of those, like, office things that, like, sticks in the ground, uh, whatever they're called. Like, oh, it's so much better. But at the same time, I really want to... So, um, what are your favorite Switch games? Oh, man, Smash Bros. Breath of the Wild Zone. I love all the Switch games I've got. Um, I, I would just be listening to all of them I have to. Um, but anyway, uh, really quick, because I want to get to this birthday thing. The one thing I really wanted... <laughs> Once again, you can see exactly where this is going. The one thing that I just really wanted was um, about a week before my birthday, so really just about a week ago, um, there was this new model that came out. I didn't even know this was a thing until like uh, when she asked me to make this list. I was like, oh my gosh, this thing is real. Um, there's this model that, from this company called Axe, A-C-K-S, um, and they make, um, I guess, just models and stuff, but the thing is, this model that they made was like uh, in proportion to a Figma that I've got. Uh, it's from Persona 5. And um, the, I have the Figma for Joker, who's coming to Smash Brothers. Um, I have the Figma for Joker, which is really cool. I got a great deal on that, by the way. But um, they made a model to scale for Joker of his starting Persona Arsene, and it is so cool. And I was like, that's the one thing I want. Because I love making models and painting them and all that stuff. And plus, it'd be extra videos I get to show you guys, too. Um, and I thought it'd be, like, a great time to do it because Joker's coming to Smash. And I was like, oh, this is going to be perfect. Um... <laughs> and once again, like, I'm not, you know, I, like, I'm really thankful, but I'm just still bummed. I don't know why it happens every time. Because this list was like, it couldn't have been more like, this is, like, the one and only thing I want. Uh, here's a couple other ideas, and that was like basically the rest of it, and that's like, <laughs> and that's what she goes for. And there's other things on it that I was like, uh, I didn't know you were an artist. Oh, I'm sorry, Billy Bob, I, did you just mention something else? Um, oh, I thought you were just jumping in, I'm sorry, with a comment like that, people will say things like that to me. Um, but yeah, I've actually, um, went to school for this, I actually teach, uh, art too, in colleges. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to teach at a uh, college level as a full-time job soon. I'm really hoping it pans out. Uh, there's a college that uh, needs some full-time work. I really, really hope they take me. Um, but yeah, Heart Gold is your favorite Pokemon game, right? It's my favorite, uh, too, along with Platinum. Yes, Heart Gold and Soul Silver are my absolute favorites. I think Heart Gold is my absolute favorite, though, because ho oh because of Gold and Silver, really, being one of my favorite games, um, is, like, one of my favorite Pokemon. Though I gotta say, Shuckle is the ultimate. Shuckle's the bomb. I like Shuckle because he's, like, a, a unique, strange one that I really have a passion for, so I'm, like, gotta go all in on Shuckle. Um, didn't know you were an artist. Yeah, so anyway, I, I've actually been... Ever since, like, kindergarten, people said, like, oh, this kid can draw well. Inevitably, that means that I'm being sent to art classes and stuff, and my, uh, path in life was kind of chosen for me. Though I do enjoy this, of course. I got to write my own story, and I get to draw it, too. I mean, not a lot of people get to do that kind of thing. Um, you thought about a Pokémon series? No. No. <laughs> I don't know, I love Smash Brothers! I don't care about Tekken at all. <laughs> um, I really wish you the best, Sammy. I uh, hope you get the job. Oh, yeah, thanks, Blazing Gamer. I absolutely need it, but at the same time, like, I really need this publishing thing to come out, too. Like, um, obviously I need something stable, and the teaching thing would be perfect. Um, I hope you get the job. Yeah, thanks, Bartman. Uh, Dunsparce is the best Pokemon. Dunsparce for Smash Ultimate. Um, Dunsparce was in Smash Brothers as a trophy at one point. I think it was Melee.
But Dunsparce made it. Dunsparce was in Smash Brothers. Um, but anyways, yeah, so, um... Now I'm at the point where I, like, I, I, this thing that I super want so bad, I can't afford, and I'm, like, so bummed about it. It's, um, it's, like, I think, like, 65 bucks. So I'm like, ugh. I do not have that. Just do not have that. So, I'm just, like, scared, because since it just came out, normally, uh, the prices, like, jack up on things like that. I'm like, crap. The price is gonna go skyrocketing on this thing, and I'm not gonna be able to get my hands on it. I'm so sad. Oh well, things happen. Uh, is the comic going to come out anytime soon? Um, depends on what you mean by soon. Um, because I'm actually working on stuff for 